Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Play Sheltered. We are in the wee hours of day 64 over here. Let's go ahead and unpause the game and see what we have going on right now. We have Daniel right here selected. Oh, Daniel, you are back and you're basically ready for the slaughter. Let's be honest, you were a bit low on food. So you know what that means, my friend. You played a good part for us to survive, but now it's time for you to give back. Although you've been kind of giving back by finding items and going out there to um, let us survive through items, but... You get to give back in terms of food as well, my friend. That's all I can really say. Now, everybody else, let's see what we have going on over here. Barbara, she's fine. I need to send out somebody to an expedition because we have 50 water. That's enough for an expedition right now. I do believe Barbara is the next one in line to go out there, though. Yeah. Either that or Gary. It's either her or Gary. I'm going to send Gary out there. So, Gary, my friend, you need to go out there just because I need to get rid of all the males. Otherwise, Falcon will feel a little bit unsecure in the shelter if he's not the alpha. So, it's the alpha dog, but I guess the alpha bird would be more ideal here. Uh, so let's see, Falcon, you're not going out anywhere. Not without a gas mask or radiation tablets, my friend. Uh, neither are my family, neither are my kids. Let's see here, Caroline, I like you a bit too much, so I'm gonna hold on to you for a bit longer. You and, Matri you and Patricia have survived quite a bit, let me tell you. Uh, doesn't really happen too often where survivors stay in my playthrough too long here without becoming, uh, food after a while. Uh, Daniel, you're about to die, so you have to stay in here. We'll be taking a 60 hit on trauma because of Daniel dying. But it's okay, as long as we space out his dead with the next person that's going to be out there. It was not going to actually send us into catatonic state anytime soon. Uh, so, Barbara, you have 11 perception, which will actually let you find items a bit easier. 11 isn't too bad. Dexterity, 8 for running away just in case. And how's your strength, 8? Not exactly the best fighter out there, but not the worst either. And then we have Gary, who is even a worse fighter than uh, Barbara is. You know what? I'm going to send Barbara out there because she has a bit more fighting potential than Gary. And um, I, I feel like getting a bit more into combat right now, just in case. So, yeah, we're sending Barbara instead. Never mind what I said about the alpha bird. So, Barbara, you're going out there next. Uh, I've been reading comments and people have been telling me Falcon send people in pairs of two so you could bring some more loot back. I agree with you. That would be really ideal. But keep in mind that my four cities that we've actually discovered have been looted completely. And we've been waiting around for a respawn of items. But it hasn't happened just yet. It's been like, you know, three, four, seven days in some locations. And still, the items have not respawned completely. So, um... Yeah, I could see the benefit of sending more than one person, so you actually bring back more stuff. But with the rucksack and the satchel, it kind of evens out a little bit, so... I, I do appreciate the advice, but I think that it's probably better to stay on the one-person team. Because not only that, because of the rucksack and the satchel, it gives you more space to loot. But at the same time, I'm losing up, I'm wasting less water, and right now we're still at the cap of 60. Once we get another water butt in, I'll probably maybe consider sending two people out there. But with the satchel and the rucksack, I really don't think it's really too ideal anymore. But, I mean, I do appreciate your, your advice on it, though, that's for sure. But, um, I will go the other way with this one. The Falcon way. It's so far, it's actually gotten me through pretty well, I would say. What, what do you mean we have 51 water? That we had 50. Huh? Eh, that's fine. I'll take the extra water. It's okay. I'm considering we go back to Broadford this time around because Broadford um, has a few areas that apparently doesn't say how long ago I visited them. So, it kind of makes me worry that maybe I didn't visit them or I ran away from some sort of, um predicament there and ideally there's also a few spots over here it says 11 days ago i think there's another one that was like seven days ago 11 for the pharmacy so if um your respawn theory is correct as i've read and i've heard so much about 11 days seems ideal enough for a respawn of items so yeah we'll be going over to broadford and maybe sending her over here probably doing a little bit of a loop de loop around and then go all the way around and reveal some more of this map maybe we'll find something over here i doubt it but you know might as well give it a try so, I'm thinking we go over to, uh, we'll start off with Pharmacy. We'll hit up the small house. Small house 11 days ago. Other small house 11 days ago. Police station. And after police station, we probably loop all the way through here. Maybe, as a matter of fact, we probably go all the way down through here. 25 still seems pretty ideal to me. Maybe even 26. So, we could do that. Have her loop through here. 29 out of 51. That's not too bad. I might even do 30. 31? You know what? Let's do this. This seems actually relatively ideal. Yeah. Alrighty. We'll cover, uncover some more of this ground over here. We'll go for it. Confirm it. And we'll be giving her... Ah, uh, not exactly the best fighter. But she's decent enough. So I'll give her the, the knife. That's not the knife. Uh, Falcon, that's also not how you equip a knife. You don't put it in your inventory. You put it in her hand. I'm going to send her out with the rucksack. So Barbara, I am trusting you right now not to die. This rucksack is really important to me and my family. Me in particular, because I want to survive longer. I gotta get up to day 69 at the very least, man. So, knife, rucksack, let's get on out of here. Oh, trade bait, right. Uh, I'll take a book for trade bait, just in case. There you go. Good luck to you. 
Alrighty, Falcon's asleep over here. Melissa uh, needs a shower. We'll try to get that soon as, as soon as it rains anyway. Uh, Cynthia, relatively fine. You could probably get a little to shut eye. Do that right now. I need to open this door up for you. There you go, Barbara. Good luck to you. Did we ever disable these lights over here? I could have sworn I did. Oh, I talked about that last episode too. Didn't I? Did I get uh, distracted with something else? I guess I must have. Because I, I told you guys, like, everybody was giving me advice. Falcon, these lights are not needed. Turn them off. S conserve some fuel. And I thought it was a great idea, but nope. Here I am, never doing what I said I would do. Big surprise there. Cynthia, after that one, disable the next one too. And we have this Dreadle transmission. Barbara already found a location. Yes, go for it. Go right on ahead. Alright, Cynthia, thank you. Oh, there it goes. Rain, that's what we were looking for. Now we can poop and take a few showers as well. Let me bring this up over here, and Melissa, go ahead and take your shower first. Uh, Cynthia, let's have you poop while you're at it, or pee, you know, whichever one it has to be, it doesn't really matter which one. Eric, let's get you in line for a shower afterwards, uh, Caroline could do pretty much the same, get you right here. Uh, Patricia needs to poop, put her next to the restroom, and Daniel, you just need to die. <laughs> to be honest. Let me go and send you to sleep just so you could stop, you know, looking all sad and depressed over there because you're gonna die. I mean, I guess you have a good reason too, but still. Uh, search location, yes. Alrighty, Falcon, you're okay for now. Melissa's gonna be done with that shower. Let's get her out of there. Swap over to the next person over needs a shower. I guess that would be Caroline. Take a shower now. Melissa, do me a solo. She's up in there. Just go ahead and fix this. Cynthia's out of the restroom. Great. Where is the other girl at? Patricia. She needs restroom. Use toilet. Alrighty. Um, dog, while you're up here? Not, not literally D-O-G, but D-A-W-G. Go ahead and fill my doggy bowl up. Accept transmission. Uh, yes, get involved. If I avoid these things, I avoid the locations that I'm over here looking to search. So I can't run away from any issue now because I really want to find out what's in there. We have Thomas right now. Well, hello, another one here risking dust and disease. You're damn right, Thomas. Thomas the train. Uh, we've all had rough days since, and well, you know, so I feel like your pal. Any of this help you out? You have a trade. Yes, let's go ahead and do some trading over here. What do you got, my friend? You have a few items for me. I'm going to throw this book in here for one. I'm going to pick up food. I'm going to pick up nail, hinge. Uh, I might pick up the teddy bear for trade bait down the line, just so he doesn't rip me off completely. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and grab everything that you... Oh, you can't, right? Okay, what's more important to me? <clears throat> I would say... Uh, I would probably say, hmm, I, I probably have to, I can do the two teddy bears, so it's going to put me over 100. Uh, nail's important, hinge is kind of important too. Of all these items left over, I would probably say battery or bulb, a Bulbasaur. Uh, I'm going to go with the battery though. You're going to rip me off, but that's okay. At least I have a teddy bear for trading down the line. And hopefully we get a chance to check out this petrol station and grab some items out of there. Alrighty, let's see here. Uh, Falcon, you also could use a shower. Get some water in you for now. Melissa, get some water in you for now. Cynthia needs some Z's and maybe even a shower afterward, too. But so does Eric. Eric, come over here and take a shower. Cynthia, I'll try to get you a shower right afterwards. Don't you worry one bit. Uh, Caroline, you're done. Let's come over here and use the toilet as well. And Patricia, you need a shower. Meanwhile, you shower. How about you just clean the shelter for now? Daniel, you're sleeping. Gary, you're just hanging out over... Right, right. We were expecting that dead. It was a bit, uh, unexpected. Well, I was expecting it, but I didn't think it was going to happen just yet. But there you go. We got the 60 trauma hit out of the way. That's going to give us enough time to reduce the trauma. Meanwhile, this girl over here dies afterwards. We have some strangers. We have to get involved with it, so we will. And we're also going to cannibalize that dude with, I guess, Gary, more than likely. Have him take the trauma hit, just in case. <clears throat> Alrighty, we have two individuals here. One of them has a rhubarb bar. Looks like a katana every single time. And we have a crowbar. Hey! Hey, you! Uh, okay. Let's see if they want to do some trading instead of fighting. If you're out here looking for a trade, you got nothing I need. That's fine. At least you guys don't want to fight, right? That's okay. I could deal with that. Uh, Gary. Gary, Gary, Gary. You come over here and you harvest this man. Falcon, you probably could use the shower, too. Let's get you ready for that. Melissa is ever overall fine. Cynthia also needs a shower. I think she was the next one in line, so take a shower now, daughter. Eric, let's use the toilet. And... I think that, for the most part, we're going to be fine here, then. Does seem that way. We have a journal. Might as well read this one, get it out of the way. I rarely ever pay attention to these. Day 65. I just don't have any words. Losing Daniel was just knocked us for six. We didn't want him to go to waste. Things are that desperate here. Yeah. We never let anybody go to waste around these parts. So what is it, your first day here, journal? 
Go ahead and search the location. Barbara has not found a goddamn thing in any any of these locations. It's kind of weird. Uh, Gary could use the restroom. Yeah, I guess he could use the restroom now. Here we go. Excellent! We finally got a location with some items. Doesn't really happen too often anymore, it seems. Uh, I'll take everything for now, because we have the room for it. Confirm it. There you go. Keep moving about. Uh, let's see, how much water do we have? We're almost at 60. I feel like sending Gary out there now, but we need to space out these deaths because back-to-back um, -back 60 trauma hits will put us into catatonic state, and that would be game over. So I do feel like I should probably space them out a little bit here. But I'm considering doing it now. We'll see. Gary, you're using the restroom. That's fine. Patricia, you could also use a shower, so take it now. Get involved. Yes, at the florist, that's fine. Usually the florist shop has some pretty decent items, so maybe this could be beneficial, assuming there's not too many people here. It's only one dude, all in green. Apparently he's a leprechaun, and he's holding Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You smell what The Rock is... I love that shit so much, I'm sorry. Every single time, I gotta do it now. Uh, let's see, who's out there, who's there? Apparently he's blind like Betty as well. Uh, you want to be recruited, do you, Robert? Well, you know, sh we're, we're going to lose her after a bit. Gary is going to be going afterwards, then maybe Robert. Yeah, yeah, you know what, Robert? I'll go ahead. No, you know what? I think Patricia and Caroline have been around long enough. I think they're going to be reaching that point pretty soon. So, no, I'm going to reject Robert. His stats aren't really that great. Really charismatic, but, you know, not charismatic enough to get him recruited, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, here we go. Yes, examine the items at the floors. There we go, excellent. Some more regeneration of items. I'll pick this up, I'll take the spring, I'll take the seeds. Uh, stock up on limestone, sure, why not? And I'll take the buckets as well. Mr. Bucket, bucket of fun. Uh, I'll leave the limestone for the water. I was actually trying to leave this behind, game. For the water. There you go. Confirm it. I think that's fine. Yeah, I don't think I need that, that much limestone anyway. Gary's out of there. Great. Uh, Gary, what do you need? You need some sleep, do you? Maybe even a shower afterwards. Oh, I'll, I'll deal with you soon here. Yeah, search the location. Falcon, you never showered, did you? Let's get you over here ready for a shower. Who's in there? Get out of that shower already. You've been there long enough. Patricia, yeah, yeah, you've been there long enough, okay? Let me get the old Falcon Meister a shower here. There you go. Accept transmission. What do you got for me this time? Examine more items. Great. I'm going to take this right now, and I'm going to take this, and maybe even that. What are we leaving for these items? I think I have like a million springs. Yeah, I have 18. Uh, I will take the wood, because we're looking to get at least up to 20 in wood, so we can make the level 4 upgrade for the bench. So yeah, we'll be taking that one for sure. I want the shotgun show as well. Just for the hell of it, I rarely ever give, you know, guns to my people when they go out on expeditions, but down the line it could be useful. Uh... Seeds, until I get those stations up and running, I don't think they're too useful, so I might consider leaving that behind. Yeah, you know what? Let's leave the seeds behind. Or do I want Transistor? Transistor! Sounds like an amazing name for an 80s glam rock band. Transistor! Oh, we Transistor! I'm not sure why they sing. The lyrics of their songs are actually just their band name over and over, but in my mind, that's how it works. Uh, yes, I kind of want to take this. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna take it, but maybe the battery. No, we're gonna need that for some. Uh, I think for the generator, you need those down the line. Yeah, I'll leave it this way. That's fine. Alrighty, let's see here. Now, what else do we have here? Cynthia needs some sleep now. Go ahead and get some sleep. You've earned it. Eric, get some sleep, son. And you are fine. Patricia could use some sleep. Hey, go ahead and sleep over here in the sleeping bag for now. What do you have here? Yeah, search the location. Uh-huh. And Gary could use some sleep as well. Maybe after the shower. As soon as Falcon's done, I'll get you in the shower. And everybody else has pooped and cleaned up. I'm actually relatively happy about that. Some of the comments I've also been getting, Falcon, the reason why you get food poisoning is because you have them eat when they're filthy. They have to use the restroom, they're, you know, dirty, and you're having them eat. Well, I guess that makes sense, sure. Uh, I've... I've... I think I'm pretty sure if... I've had food before in my life when I haven't necessarily been the cleanest, maybe after a workout, I've gone and like grabbed like a smoothie or something, it hasn't necessarily ever made me sick. But you know, game logic, I suppose, it works out that way in this game. Then again, we're talking about radioactive uh, dirtiness, I'm not radioactive dirty when I probably do that myself, so that probably explains it. Let me go and grab this, um, I've also heard... The way items respawn in, item, in locations is uh, when you've cleared out every single item here. So if I was to leave a few items behind, this place will not regenerate items, allegedly. 
Whether that's true or not, I'm still iffy about the advice I've been getting about that. I'm not doubting you, but at least in my game, it hasn't really happened, the whole respawning of items. At least maybe that's what's happening now, maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so apparently leaving items behind does not cause the regeneration to actually happen. So if that's the case, this house, I can't take everything with me, so this is not going to regenerate items for us for a while. I do need lens for something, if I remember correctly, maybe even the upgrade for the workbench. Uh, the fuse is also used for the upgrades up here. Uh, record, I don't really think I need that right now. I'm going to go ahead and leave the matches behind for the valves. I'm also going to leave more rooms, huh? I wonder how much cement I actually have at home. I'm going to leave the sand behind for the lens. And I want to grab that fuse as well. But you know what? I don't think it's going to happen right now. Yeah, I don't see it happening. Unless I want to leave this magnesium behind. But we have two magnesiums. We have eight fuses. Although I think we need a lot of fuses for the upgrades up to the um, filters or the generator, if I'm correct here. Oh boy, oh boy. It's raining. Probably don't need water. Let's go ahead and leave the water behind. I will take the fuse, and there we go. We'll confirm now. Okay, what's going on over here? Max storage capacity, great. Gary, you need a shower. Take your shower. Falcon, the only thing we could probably do now for you is drink some water. Same with Melissa. Take advantage of it now, because it's raining. Uh, we'll have you drink water when you wake up. Caroline, get some water in you as well. Patricia, when you wake up, get some water. And Gary, when you're done, get some water. Okay, that takes care of just about everybody. Transmission. Search the location. Absolutely. Doggy has food. Uh, this place seems relatively clean. Maybe, let's see. Melissa, no, it's clean. Totally is clean. Alrighty. We'll probably start having people fix some stuff around, and then we'll consider maybe, if I can, without uh, using up any valuable items, I might see about adding another something to the room shelter soon with crafting we'll see i'm gonna grab this i'll grab that and oh man had i brought the this with me the other stack that i had i could have cleared out this house and hopefully caused the regeneration of items but now that i'm leaving this behind it's probably not gonna happen that's unfortunate all righty there you go so let's see here melissa could use some food how much food do we have 29 to 40 yeah we did cannibalize that dude after all all righty everything seems fine here search location sure uh, let's have people start fixing stuff. Caroline, come over here and fix this. Uh, Patricia, you're asleep. Gary, fix the toilet. Falcon, fix sleeping bag. Melissa, fix uh, this over here. Transmission, examine items. We're finding a bunch of items here. I'm so glad we actually came over here. Fuel, really obviously important. Don't have to tell you that. Metal is really good. Pipes is something we actually do need as well. I forget how many, but we do need some. Cement, we have seven bag cement at home. So yeah, this right here. These limestones, we don't really need them with seven cement. Uh, okay. We need the fuel, obviously, so let's get rid of some uh, limestone, pick up fuel. Now, uh, one extra fuel would be great, but that's going to take up another spot for only one. I guess I'll leave it behind because of that. We need to come back to this petrol station. A lot of good stuff over here left over. I need this pipe as well. You know what, at this point I'm going to have to say goodbye to this magnesium for the pipe. I kind of want the metal as well. Transistor, I'm going to leave you behind for the metal. And we'll take the fuse, obviously. Anything else that we could stack? I'm not seeing it. Rope, we have seven. Good item as well, but I think we can make do with this one. Alrighty, let's see. Melissa, you should be fixing stuff pretty soon. Cynthia, you should be waking up and getting some water. As a matter of fact, let's just wake you up now. Get your water out of the way. Caroline's done over there, great. Caroline, come over here and fix this. Eric, once you're done, fix that. Except transmission. Uh, yes, go ahead and get involved. Hopefully it's not a big deal. We have a bunch of items, so I would really hate to see you. Oh, oh that's a big problem. Hey, buddy, don't you walk on by. You know, it's been a long time since I cut something. Oh, they do want to fight. That's actually really terrible. Because I have a bunch of items. I have the rucksack on her, and these people are looking to fight. Uh, no, I don't like it at all. Let's go ahead and flee. Please? Get away. Oh, she got away. <laughs> oh, hooey. So, um, I guess I'm going to go back to the whole comment about people telling me to send more than one person at a time. And that's one of the one occasions that you're wrong, completely right. Not wrong. The opposite of wrong. You're completely right. If you get in a situation like that where it's like one against four, then yeah, you're probably correct about having a bunch of people together just in case that happens. So that's definitely one of those options where you should be using that. So, I mean, yeah, you're correct about having more than one people here. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Turn this on. Why is the light on my kitchen area off? Not entirely sure. Huh. 
Lights off. I mean, I can disable that, but I, I can't enable this one. Why can't I enable you? Hey, what happened to you? I'm trying to right-click. It's not really letting me do much over here. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Cynthia, come over here and fix this one afterwards. And that's about it. Who's exhausted? Should be Gary, right? Yeah, he's tired. Gary, go ahead and get some sleep, dog. You've earned it. You're going to be going out there pretty soon anyway. Falcon could probably use some food pretty soon, except his transmission. More strangers, huh? All right, give it a try. You got away last time when it was kind of tricky. Hopefully, it's not the same group of people. They caught up to me. Now it's only one dude wearing a sweater vest and holding a gun, pointing it right at me. Let's see if he wants to do some trading. Yeah, he does want to do some trading. Excellent. Uh, okay. I'm down to give um, Teddy Bear away. Four books. So that'd be 50-50 straight up right there. Great. So we'll do that one for the Charisma Boost. Uh, let's see, anything else? I don't really care about the pink can, I don't think. Anyway, any anytime soon. I don't think this is really too important for us. Uh, pipe, I do want. So let me grab the pipe. I can't stack any more food, so that's kind of a waste. So is, so is the water. I can stack hinges, so I'll take that. And that's all we can really do. Now, in order to grab these two items, I am going to have to give them something of ours to make up the two difference over here. Uh, I guess we'll have to throw away one of these fuses to make this happen. So, we'll make this trade happen. Excellent. Alrighty. And luckily for us, this man didn't want to kill us. He was down for some trade-in. He was down with OPP. Yeah, you know me. And Falcon, you could use some food. We said, yeah, get some food now. Melissa, yeah, get your food now. Cynthia, come over here and get some food. Eric, might as well do the same. Caroline, do the same. Let's just get everybody fed right now. Patricia could definitely use some food. And I think, for the most part, that is under control. We are going to wrap it up here, guys. We had an amazing, productive day. 64 to day 66, almost day 67 now. We're so close to the magical number of 69. We're obviously going to get there, obviously. Right? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Have I just jinxed a run? Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.